Can Jazz is a compilation of uh, commentaries and interviews for the jazz enthusiast, uh, the music lover, comprising interviews with jazz giants such as Moses Mulele, Rob Janssen, Gito Baloy, as well as Ezra Nukana, to name a few. Well, the book will be launched in Pine Town tomorrow and feature live, a live performance by Um Kumbane Ensemble and Stubon Giti. Now, the story of SA Jazz is penned by Stuan Douglas, who joins us now from our Durban studios to tell us more about this fascinating read. Stron, good morning. Welcome to Morning Live. Good morning. All right. So give us a brief synopsis of what the story of SA Jazz is about. Well, thank you. Uh, it's a story that is only in its first volume, volume one. And um, it really is an attempt to describe and document as much of our South African cultural history of jazz and improvised music as we can. And, you know, why is the, the, the story of South African jazz worth talking about or worth uh, documenting? Well, it's an amazing story in terms of uh, South Africa's history. You know, just to quote what Zim Luwana said, jazz fought the struggle and won. So in terms of what jazz did in the 1960s for South Africa, I think it's an amazing story. And, and then taking jazz into the current generation where we've got over our political problems, I think jazz is fighting the struggle and winning in terms of our own social and emotional uh, transformation and alchemy. Mm. All right, let's talk to us about the highlights of putting this uh, book together. I mean, you interviewed the likes of Robbie Janssen, Ezra Nguka, and uh, you know, the late Moses Muleleko. Talk to us about that process. Well, yes, it started for me uh, back in that day in 1999 in Cape Town. And, and uh, the first highlights was getting to know Jim Bailey, the publisher of Drum Magazine. He had a, a real fascination with street culture. And then, then of course, uh, Winston Mankunku was uh, at large in Cape Town and shining the brightest light. So just being in the presence of that music and the dancing good times and going out to Google Air to... That was what got me hooked onto jazz, was seeing Winston Mankunku uh, perform, a masterful player. And then uh, around 2000, the turn of the millennium was a, was a huge uh, jazz explosion with the, the Cape Town Jazz Festival. And then Moses Malalekwa really um, changing the way we understood jazz with his innovative playing and um, mixing in all sorts of musics. And then Jimmy Dludlu was there, attracting great crowds it was it was really a lot of fun mm. you know a lot of joy and that's continued why the, the decision sorry why the decision to put it as interviews not a, a story of you know the different stories that the different jazz musicians uh, told you why compile it into a list of interviews yes uh, well you know it's such a vast story that um my story is, is going to be different, you know. I think it's important to tell everybody's story as it is. And for me, the story of South African jazz is, is our story, you know. Everybody has their story of South African jazz, whether it's as a, a pioneer or, or as, as somebody who's really just enjoyed it. So for me, um, the idea is to create something that can stand the test of time and, and not be subject to my own impressions. Mm. I have my own impressions and that'll be told in another story, but more to create the space for everybody's story to be relevant and everybody's story to be told. All right, now, talk to us about the launch tomorrow. You're launching in Pine Town tomorrow. There'll be performances. Tell us a little bit about that. Yes, thank you. It's going to be a, a, a great event because... You know, firstly, it's the Rainbow Restaurant, which has been supporting live music and jazz for 34 years. They opened with the banner Jazz for the Struggle and the Struggle for Jazz back in 1982 and, you know, playing to audiences of 400 people with uh, great acts. So this is a, this is a place that uh, holds live music very strongly. And then the musicians featured are uh, Elias Ngidi, who goes right back into the 60s. He's a penny whistle star. And he performed with the great Winston Mankunku as a trumpet player in his band. He's a guitarist, a singer, and he's a father. He'll be performing with, with his musical sons, the bass players, Pilani and Gidi and Lee and Gidi. And the other act is Tabani Maklobo of Barrett Blues. And Tabani himself is, is an amazing um, 
musical artist, storyteller, and cultural legend um, who rehearses and works out of Stable Theatre here in Durban. And his group is an a cappella quartet. All right. So we'll be on stage on Sunday at 2 p.m. And the show will be narrated by playwright Tami Skosana, who's um, a, you know, a cultural champion himself. All so right. I think this is a gathering of maestros and um, the audience I know at the Rainbow are maestros themselves. We've all got their mm. own stories of South African jazz to share. All right. Struan, thank you so much for talking to us. Struan Douglas is the author of the book, The Story of SA Jazz, which will be launched tomorrow with performances by Um Kumbane Ensemble, Elias Dumongiti. That's at the Rainbow Restaurant in Pine Town tomorrow. So if you're out in Pine Town, go there and enjoy the launch. Well, let's see. Do we take a nap break or do we go straight to the interview? Let's see. Let's take a nap break. We're back after this. Stay with us.